Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making these super simple yet tasty three ingredient peanut butter cookies. So let's get started. And you guys, I want to apologize for the background noise. My family is the true definition of background noise. Okay, <laughs> so for our ingredients, we're going to be uh, we're going to need peanut butter, sugar, and you can see I'm using Great Value products because this is a budget-friendly recipe, you guys. And you also need one egg. So my nieces and my daughter Kelly are here and they're going to be the ones that are actually going to be making this. I'm going to teach them step by step. This is their first time making peanut butter cookies and so we had a great time in the kitchen. So this is my niece Amber here scooping out the peanut butter. So you're going to need one cup of peanut butter and you guys this recipe is so simple. Three ingredients. I mean you don't can't get really any more simpler than that right but anyway this is the best tasting simple ingredient cookie I've ever tasted seriously hands down fun fact my dad is the one who taught me and my sister how to make these three ingredient cookies so yeah this recipe has been in my book for oh my gosh probably since I was around my niece's age around seven eight nine ten I guess but yeah these are so good y'all. Y'all have to try these. And then you're gonna need your cup of sugar. And I have my cute little helper helping me. And then of course you need your one egg. And this makes about 15 to 20 cookies depending on how big or small you make them. But we got like 19 out of them but some of them were big, some of them were small. So yeah, it just kinda depends on what you make but that kinda gives you a guess of how many this batter makes. And this is my daughter Kelly, and y'all, she was working that bowl, okay? This peanut butter was so thick, and it wasn't even the thick and crunchy or whatever that really thick one is that I, I can't stand. But anyway, she was working that bowl, y'all. She was working it. And then my other nieces, you'll see the change of hands. They jumped right in. They they really did good. Y'all can see we're doing it the old-fashioned way. I didn't pull out the mixer or anything. We're just doing everything the old-fashioned way. So, yeah, we had a lot of fun. And make sure your oven is preheated to 375 and I'll tell you how long to cook them when we get to that point, okay? So yeah, we're just getting them mixed up nice and nice and good here, so. And this, y'all, the house smells so good right about now. It smells like peanut butter. It smells so, so good. And so you just wanna grease your pan. So yeah, we're doing everything the old-fashioned way now the reason why we're using Crisco is because my mom did not have any parchment paper wax paper baking spray or anything like that at her house like mom what what are you doing <laughs> I'm just kidding I'm the baker in the house so everything was at my house and we were doing this at my mom's house so that's why anyway so I'm just this is me why do my hands look chunky on the camera? I don't understand that, but anyway, that's besides the point, right? Anyway, so all you wanna do is take a teaspoon and just scoop out, round round it up, and then you're gonna take the fork and you're just gonna press some cute little lines in and you can do one set of lines and you can do crisscross. I like the crisscross, but you can do it however you choose. And this is so simple. This is my favorite part of making these cookies my favorite part but anyway now my nieces are and my daughter are gonna do it and they had so much fun making these cookies y'all this this is what it's all about making the memories and um, they'll have this in their memories for a lifetime forever so yeah this was fun and as you can see we have our cookies all ready to go into the oven at 375 like I said and you want to bake them for about 10 minutes and then they come out looking like this and so um right here i'm just taking them and putting them on a, a cooling rack now normally i don't do all this i'm just doing this for the video okay put them on the cooling rack i don't do all this when i'm just baking them <laughs> y'all y'all know I like to have fun anyway so yeah the these cookies smell so good and this is how they look when they are plated up y'all these are some good cookies they were 
so, so good and so fun to make, so simple. And honestly, if you take out the t prepping for um, editing and filming the video, it takes about 15 minutes for everything. And they're having so much fun eating this. This is my favorite part of the video. This is, this is, yeah, this is fun. Watch what they do at the end, watch this. These cookies were so good that y'all will see in a minute. Yeah, so <laughs> as you can see, these cookies were so good that they were almost fighting over them. So yeah, y'all have to try these cookies. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. Later.